Whoa. Step. Careful. It's really slippery. I know. Ah. Got it? Uh. Hey, Tyler! Yeah? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Is Mom here yet? No. She had to stop at the hospital first. It's cold. She'll be here in about an hour. Oh, let's go, let's go. Come on. Come on. Exhausted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, Tyler slept the whole way and snore. I did not. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's coffee and cocoa and cookies in the kitchen. Oh, yes, Mom! Oh. Did you sleep well? Listen, the moving van is here and I have to run to the hospital. But I can't wait to hear all about your new school. Just wanted to tell you to have a great day, okay? Bye. Wait, Mom, wait a second. How about you measure me? Come on. Please. Okay, where's the pen? It's in there. Okay, standing tall. There you go, look. Yes, finally, I'm taller than you were. And smarter, and more clever, and sweeter. Oh. There you go, buddy. Mom, you have a great day, too. Thanks. You want to know a secret? Yeah. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Bye. Did you know that Minnesota is the gopher state? Did you know that all gophers go away in the winter? Oh, good morning, Nana. Hi, Nana. Good morning, you too. Your father's setting up his studio, and there's your lunch money. Whoa, sunglasses, please. I'm going to my jazzercise class later. <laughs> and why aren't you eating? I guess I'm not very hungry. She's nervous about starting her new school. Tyler, no, I'm not. I saw. Think of it. This is a fabulous opportunity. You get to make new friends. And by the way, don't wait for them to come up and say hi. She means don't do your shy thing. Carissa, I want you to march up to the first person you see and say hello there. Hello is the first word in a friendship. OK, Nana. And if you need to break the ice, think of a good joke. You want to think of one now? No, that's OK, Nana. <laughs> OK. Hey, you two. I have a big surprise for both of you. What is it? Come on, bring your things. Come on, hurry up. Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. Slow poke. Be quiet. Shh. Oh my gosh, Cosmo's had her baby. Why didn't you tell us? Because I love surprises, and I wanted to wait till you were here. <laughs> this little one belongs to you two. Yes! Oh, awesome! <laughs> so cute. This is a boy or a girl? A little girl. What should we name her? How about Bubba? Bubba? Why would we name a girl Bubba? Why not? Do you want to feed her? Yeah, yeah. Here you go, Tyler. I just don't want her to spit at me. Oh, Krissa, llamas don't spit at people, especially not Cosmos and Checkers. Llamas only spit at each other and only when provoked. OK. Come here, honey. Mm. There you go. See? Ooh. Hi, mm. Zoe. She just, oh, oh, boy, oh. she loves you now. <laughs> And after I said what a lady you are. Ew, Nana. Come on, Tyler. Come on. I'm coming. Did you want to get? Show your homework. So, uh, how's the teacher? 
Hello? Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Who is she? Who cares? Who's at school on a Friday? Adverbs end in the letters what? General. Mr. Beck? Class, I have a new friend for you to meet. Krissa Maxwell. Hi. She's going to be joining your class. Krissa, we've been expecting you. Now, I want you all to make Krissa feel at home. Uh, Mr. Beck, maybe you could assign a lunchroom buddy. Uh, unless you want to have lunch with the principal. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> Sonali, what about you? Oh, thank you, Sonali. I think you're taken from here, Mr. Beck. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Bye, Mr. Bye. Bye, bye. bye, bye. Guys, Krissa decided to start school today on a Friday because we're celebrating Valentine's Day today. And what better way to get to know our new friend than on the day that celebrates what? Friendship! Yes. So did you get the list of students? Yeah, it's in here. Good, because we are going to be passing out Valentine's all day. Yes, sir. This is for you, little mailbox from the class. So, why don't you tell us about yourself? Um, well, I just moved here from Iowa, and I have a brother named Tyler who's in fifth grade. Um, my mom just got a new job as a doctor at St. Luke's, and, um, and my dad owns a pottery studio. A Pilates studio? What? You know, exercise. Yoga? Oh, yeah, my mom goes there all Terrence, the time. slow down. Give her a chance to answer. No, it's um, a pottery studio. He's a ceramic artist. And I understand you moved in with your grandmother on uh, Lake Chandler? Yeah. Um, my grandpa died a few months back, and, and she's been hard for her to take care of the house. And... It just made sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, why don't you uh, take a seat here with cluster four? This is Jaden, Tara, and Sonali. Oh, Hello. Um, Hey, I guess I didn't get the ponytail memo. <laughs> that was a lame joke. It was lame. Okay, guys, listen up. Let's continue listing adverbs. Good job. Next. Yes, come on, honey. Punch at your code. Okay, next. Chris, that's your sister, right? Oh, look, Molly. It's your lunch, buddy. Is she going to sit here? Don't look at her. You're in my class, aren't you? Um, yeah. I'm finished. I have to go. Best friends forever, right? Best friends. B F F. <laughs> I especially like your use of color. Thank you very much, Karen. That was lovely. Thank you. Let's see. Which artiste would like to present next? Um, how about Jaden? 
I saw you were very busy back there, Jaden. What did you make for us? Well, something that makes my life special is my cell phone. Blingy. <laughs> and how does your cell phone make your life special? Well, it's pink with sparkles. And it has a thousand free minutes I can use whichever way I want. Oh, thank you, Jaden. Thank you very much. Um, how about our new student, Krissa Maxwell? Krissa? What makes my life special is my friends. Uh, this is me, and this is my best friend, Amanda. <laughs> and what are you doing there? Um, we're all swimming with our friends. And our friends do make our lives special, don't they? <laughs> Very nice. Lovely, lovely composition. Lovely use of color. Thank you, Krista. That was lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Who's next? Happy Valentine's Day. Guys, listen. Roses are red. Violets are blue. You're the loser girl. And no one likes you. Ha <laughs> ha. Just kidding. Happy Valentine's Day from you know who. <laughs> you go send it. You know who. <laughs> Watch this. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Wait till she opens it. Happy when she gets it. Sad when she reads it. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's time to open the mailboxes. I'll even open mine. <laughs> I have so many. I know, it's overflowing. Glowing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't get any Valentines. How oh, sad. Whoa. Homemade, huh? Yeah. I like making them myself. Really, I like buying them way better. <laughs> hey, maybe yours all fell on the floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she believed it. Oh, she she fell for it. Well, we can't have anyone in our club who didn't get any Valentines, can we? No. no. We can't. <laughs> we can't have anyone who didn't get any Valentines in our club. Now, no, can we, girls? No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Who said I want to be in your club anyway? <laughs> At the community center starts in two weeks. Permission slips are due Do you think tomorrow. You're gonna try out. Try out. I'm the star swimmer. Oh, you're right. You're just kidding. <laughs> right here. Right here. Krista, everything okay? Yeah. <laughs> Have a nice weekend, Mr. Beck. Thank you. Tyler. So how'd you do? No complaints. Hi, Tyler. Hi. I heard your name. <laughs> this lady fell for it. No. Boys are dumb. Don't trust them, Tyler. What? Believe me, okay? They can't be trusted. Don't be such a head case. When? When? I, I love the hat. When up here? I can't believe you have that outfit. <laughs> oh, are you here? Bye bye.
close your eyes. No. Okay. Everyone? No peeking, no, no cheating. Oh, I know you. No, don't cheat. <laughs> okay, you can open it. <laughs> Oh. I know it's your first Valentine's Day without Grandpa, so. We love you, Mom. That is so sweet. I will treasure this always. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I cut out the Cupid. Oh, it is the most beautiful Cupid I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. And this is for my ladies. Oh, chocolates. It's for you, Mom. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go, sweetie. No. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Mmm. It's for you, bud. Thank you. And they call Minnesota. <laughs> the gopher state. <laughs> I go for you. you <laughs> they also call it the lutefisk capital mm -hmm. of the world. What's lutefisk? Air dried whitefish. We can have some tomorrow if you like. Yeah. Ew. Ew. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm dying to know how was the first day of school? Oh, Mom. Okay, let's start with, um, how did math go? Okay, I already know the math that we're doing. That's good. It does not get that from me. <laughs> <laughs> and I met some really cool kids, like this one guy named Joel, and even Chris's friends said hi to me. No. No, they're not my friends. They're just some kids in my class. Did you know that more and more parents are homeschooling their children? And apparently the student's chance of getting into a top college is increased by 12% when the student's homeschooled. Really? Did something happen today, honey? No, I just miss Amanda and my friends. Oh, yeah, I want to join the swim club. They even let you dive. That is so cool. Actually, I was um, thinking of joining, too. That'd be great. Oh, why do you have to be such a copycat? Tyler, I'm sure the pool is big enough for the both of you. I'll get it. Krissa, I'll bet you can't join the school swim club if you're homeschooled. I bet you can. Krissa. That's one of your friends. Hey, go on. Go on. It's one of your friends. Okay. Invite her in for dessert. Hi. Hi. These are yours. My Valentine's? I'm supposed to say I'm sorry. Why did you take them? Tara told me to. She thought it would be funny. So you do whatever she asks you? She said to take them home and not say a word. But my mom found them. She made you return them. Did she make you say you're sorry too? And if it makes you feel any better, I'm grounded for a week. Well, I have to go. Bye. Did you tell her you're sorry? Yes, you know I did. Did you get in the car? Oh, oh thanks, Louise. Where do you want it? Put it right there, right on the table. Is this for your show in Minneapolis? Oh, yeah. You like it? You know, just the other day I was bragging about how talented you are. That's nice. And also how you love helping others. Okay, Louise. Hmm. Spill it. Well, I'm on the board of our local homeless shelter and we're having our annual fundraiser. Every year, people come and buy a very expensive soup bowl dinner, and they get to take the bowl home with them. It's a very festive affair. Sounds fun. And, and you know what um, I think would be perfectly wonderful? What? Well, I was thinking, why not have one-of-a-kind soup bowls created by a real artist as a special thank you? OK. So uh, I was mentioning this, and someone said, why not have your son-in-law, who's a famous ceramicist, make them? Of course, I said I couldn't possibly impose. OK, Louise, I'll do it. <gasps> we'll need 120 or so. Wait, 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 Louise. Louise? When? Six weeks. Oh, gee. I get a whole six weeks. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Hi, Gwen. Oh, don't go. I brought you some of my name as cookies. They're really good. Mmm. Why, thank you, Krista. Thanks, Krista. <laughs> Chocolate. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Ontario. Nana packed two bags. Mm, they're good. <laughs> Go, babies. Oh, hi, Nana. Hi, honey. I joined the swim team. Excellent. How's the baby? Oh, she's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you okay, Nana? Oh, yes. I was just thinking about your grandpa. How much he would have loved having you all here. Would you get me that pail? You know, it was his idea to get these mini llamas. Grandpa's? Yeah. And you know why we got two? So that they can have babies? No. Because llamas are very social animals. They don't do well by themselves. They always need to have a best friend near them. Was Grandpa your best friend? <sighs> well, yes, he was. I miss my best friends, too. Oh, I know you do, sweetie. But you want to know the best cure for that? Find someone else who needs a good friend, too. Hey, ladies, you're getting, you're getting alfalfa in your hair. You're ruining your hairdo. <laughs> okay, whoever has permission slips from a swim club. Last chance. Pass them up. Come on, Kristen. Permission slips? Thank you. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Bounds. Now I need somebody to take these to the office. <laughs> Krista, why don't you give it a shot? Okay. Thank you, Tara. Remember where the office is? Yeah. <laughs> okay, page 219, guys. <gasps> Let's do a little review on any qualities and the rules thereof. Mr. Bath? Yes. <laughs> straight to the office. What to do, what to do. Very irresponsible of you. Don't worry. I didn't tell on you. I'm not a tattletale.
Okay, Alexandra, Rachel, and Tara. Okay, guys, we got a team. Let's stretch it out, warm it up. Krista, hang on, I want to talk to you. Didn't you give me a permission slip? Yeah, you saw me. Well, it's not here. But it has to be. Well, I'm sorry, no permission slip, you can't swim. You're gonna have to sit this one out, I'm sorry. Okay, girls, breaststroke, I need 50 meters. Five zero meters. Swimmers, take your marks, let's go. Boys, keep stretching. I don't want any injuries this year. Guys, listen for the whistle. No false starts today. What it's happened? Keep stretching, boys. It's okay. Let's go. Okay, swimmers, take your mark. Did you? Or did you not? Steal my client's permission slip! stronger than you were last year. Keep it up. Okay, boys, shake it out. Let's hit the marks. Amanda, they act like they rule the school. Oh, real clean bees, huh? Mean bees is more like it. And the head mean bee is so... Oh, like... so the queens have a boss? <laughs> yeah, she's the queen of the mean queen bees. Anyway, she's the one who's been doing all the mean things. You can't tell on her, because everyone will think you're a tattletale. So just try to ignore her. I know. You're right. I really miss you, Amanda. I miss you, too. But it'll be summer before you know it, and I'm coming there. I can't wait to see you. And your new house. I can't wait, either. And don't forget, it's Llama Central. <laughs> Krissa! Tyler, it's dinner! Oh, I gotta go. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. So, how was school today? Mom, when are you gonna realize that that's the number one question every kid hates? I still want to know. It was okay. It was fine. Just okay? Oh, hey, today was the first day of swim practice, right? Yeah, you know they have a high dive? That is cool. So, how'd it go? Good. Um, by the way, you have to sign another permission slip. Have you guys thought of a name for the baby llama yet? Well, so far we have, um, Bubba. Claude, uh, Cynthia, Cynthia, and Minnie. Minnie? The Minnie Llama? <laughs> that was my idea. Huh. You know what your grandpa was going to call it? What? what? Starburst. That's oh, that's perfect. perfect. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hold on just a minute. What are you making? Well, I'm helping Nana. Yeah? She's putting together a fundraiser for the homeless shelter. Oh. Hmm. We can get a lot of money for all these bowls. Well, do you think I can help? Positively. <laughs> Take the air out of that little piece of clay right there. Okay, ready? Yeah, pound it. Good. Ah. <laughs> you know what happens when you get an air bubble in there? Yes, sir. Otherwise, it explodes. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what. You and Tyler can help me paint the glazes because that's when I'm really going to need the help. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, maybe I could ask some of the kids in my art class to come and help. Oh, hey, yeah, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because then you get to know some of the other kids better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, help accepted. 
Pass me that dry sponge in that little one. Yeah. You know, Krissa, you're a lot like me. I am? Well, you know how Tyler just jumps in? I mean, he's already made a whole lot of friends. Uh-huh. Well, you and I, we like to test the waters first. You know, see what the temperature's like. I guess so. Yeah, it's a good strategy. But once you've tested the waters, you gotta be ready. You gotta just dive right in. Okay. Pound that clay. <laughs> Krissa, you're up. Excuse me? Excuse me, you guys. Uh, my dad's working on bowls for a fundraiser at the Sunrise House. He needs help painting and glazing. If anyone wants to come by my dad's studio on Saturday and help, it would really be appreciated. Class? Sounds super boring. I thought I saw some hands over here. Who's first? Just sign up and pass it along. Sonali. I thought I might find the time. Gwen, can you come? Maybe you can stay overnight, too. Um, I don't think so. But thanks. Aw, loser one's making friends with loser two. How sweet. What? <laughs> Do you see your face? Totally pathetic. <laughs> Thanks. When you're really good. Oh, I used to have a violin. Well, what happened to it? One. My mom's waiting for me outside. I have to go. Swimmers, on my whistle, two laps, freestyle. Ready. Pull, pull strong. Nice. like that, girl. At the lake back at the house. So you're gonna work on those flip turns and you're gonna be a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> Tara. Yes. You look great, Chris. Oh, thanks. Keep stretching, guys. Keep you know, work. I let you in. I don't really try into the competition. You know, Krista, 
I'm going to put you in the relay team with Tara, Alexandra, and Rachel. Okay? You're going to swim second. Second! Good job. That's where they put the weakest swimmer. <laughs> really stinks. <laughs> hey, Rachel, wait up. How was school today? It was okay. If there were something wrong, sweetie, you'd tell me, wouldn't you? It's just so hard, Mom. And I can't seem to make any friends, and nobody likes me. Nobody? I even found a person who looked like they needed a friend. Even she doesn't want me as a friend. Well, Chris, maybe there's something going on with her that you don't know. You mean, maybe it isn't me? Have you done anything to her? No. Then it isn't you. I didn't think of it like that. Look, if you really like this girl, then you shouldn't give up. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. What are you working on? Well, oh, my dad. Did you get an A? Mm hmm you... We did like a, like a class thing that he had us write like a little report while we were in class. Paul? Yeah? There's something going on with Chrissa. Really? What? That's just it. I don't know. I figure out people's life and death problems all the time, and I can't figure out what's bothering my 10-year-old daughter. Listen, she just needs time to adjust. That's all. Tyler already has new friends. Yeah, well, come on, Meg. Chris is not Tyler. Has she said anything to you? Yeah, yeah, we talk. You know. Listen. Honey, she's just figuring it out, that's all. But she's not happy. I was coming here a mistake. I took this job because I thought it would give me more family time and we would help out my mom. It will. You know what? You're the new kid, too. And your mom needs us. I'll tell you what, if anything were really bothering you, she'd, she'd come, she'd talk to us. So, I trust her on that. Come here. Okay. Very nice, you guys. Very nice. Anybody want some lemonade here? Okay. How about you? Dude, that's the worst looking hamburger I've ever seen. That's because it's a spaceship. Yeah, I see that. Anybody want some lemonade here? Nice hamburger. <laughs> I could tell you've done this before. It's really pretty. Thanks. Yeah, I've been doing it since I was three. Or possibly before that. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm surprised you came without Tara or Jaden. I know. It seems like we're always together. We've been friends since preschool. Or possibly before that. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have friends like that back at home. You know, Tara's mad you're such a good swimmer. Here, put that down. What? I want to show you something. Come on. Okay. Okay, where are we going? Come on, just follow me. Okay. <laughs> just one second. Okay, come on in. Gently, gently. She's very shy. It is so cute. Thanks. My grandpa named her Starburst. What's this? Mama beans. Mama poop. Okay. Ew. <laughs> you know, llama beans are a perfect fertilizer. <laughs> Is she eating my shirt? <laughs> no. She's kissing you. That's how llamas kiss. I heard you ask Gwen to stay overnight. Yeah. <laughs> Where is she? I don't know. I know you're not supposed to invite yourself over, but maybe I could stay overnight sometime. Well, what would Tara and Jaden say? <laughs> I don't have to tell them. Yeah. Um, well, this this one's the mama. Her name's Cosmos, right there. Uh -huh. And and this is um, Checkers. In trouble? No. No, no, no. No. It's just, um, is there something going on with your sister? Like what? Well, she didn't seem that happy after the meet today. Mm, that's good. She could have won. Oh, no, she, she did very well. She could have done better. But she hasn't been swimming that long. Trust me, Mom, she's really, really fast when she wants to be. Really? So, homework? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are pro-homework. Good. Hmm. Yeah, just two more there. Right here. Okay, you gotta line them up, Tyler. Sure, Dad. Throw that paper over there. Huh? Everybody, everybody, may I have your attention, please? I just want to thank you all for being here today. 
I love this event. <laughs> it just gets more exciting every year. Who knew when we started that we would impact so many lives? And this year we have the most amazing soup bowls thanks to my wonderful son-in-law and my beautiful granddaughter and her fourth grade class. Check this out. Uh, I'd like to say something too. It means so much to me to be helping today because I'm one of the people on the other side of the equation. 18 months ago, I lost my husband, and then my house, and then I simply had nowhere to go. The most terrifying part is I had a daughter to raise. Sunrise House was a godsend. Here, my daughter could go to school, and I could find a job. My daughter and I are a living example of the hard work you do here, and I just want you to know that it's real, that it means something. not tell anyone. I won't. I promise. This is why you didn't want to be friends. It's embarrassing. When you ask me to come over, I really can't ask you back. I want you to come over anyway. <laughs> Gwen, we need more butterflies. Thank you. Okay, I'll write tonight's homework assignment on the board. Guys, don't forget to check your spelling. It's not what you can't tell anybody. Tell anybody about what? That Chris heard we have a pop quiz in science tomorrow. We already knew that. Oh, yeah, we already knew that. Okay, class, it is time to start thinking about our big class project. Now, in the past, we've taken on things like pollution, school safety. You guys get the pick. So, think it over, give it some thought, and we'll talk about it over the next couple days. <laughs> California? Sacramento. Good. Uh, New York. Albany. Alaska. 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 <laughs> Juno. Yes. <laughs> Girls, dinner's in ten minutes. Okay, Thanks. mom. Well. Uh, what about Ohio? Ohio. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh. Hi. Now? Does it have to be now? Um. Yeah, that would be okay. Bye. That was my mom. Uh, she has to pick me up now. I thought you were gonna stay for dinner. Uh, no, I can't. Why? Uh, we have relatives coming over all of a sudden. I have to go right now. Bye. Oh, bye. Okay? Oh my gosh, guess what? What? My mom, she got the job she wanted and we're moving into an apartment. And so it's out of the shelter? Yeah. Oh gosh, this is fantastic. 
goodbye, Sunrise House. Goodbye, dormitory. And hello, my own room. <gasps> oh, but we should have a party. You know, like, uh, I'm moving into an apartment. Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. No more Sunrise House. Yeah. Isn't okay, that the homeless shelter? Like, I'm going into an apartment. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. Here, show us. I'm not sure about this. Come on, Krista, cut. I've never cut anyone's hair before. Krista, I know you can do it. I really want bangs. Okay. You're doing that all wrong, Krista. I could cut your hair for you, Gwen. I, I don't think so. Oh, come, come on. on, Gwen. Tara's mom's a hairdresser. She's seen a million people get their hair cut. Yeah, she is really good. I think you look really pretty. Your bangs should come right about where your eyebrows are. Come on, please. You look adorable. Precious, so. Please. Okay. Okay, face me. This is how you cut bangs. My mom showed me. Do you like it? <laughs> yes. I love it. <laughs> you look great, Gwen. Come on. <laughs> Oops. I made a little mistake. <laughs> now you really look like a homeless person. <laughs> Come on, girls. If you girls thought that this was some kind of a joke, well, I can assure you that Gwen Thompson didn't think it was funny. I want to hear what happened in that bathroom. Well, we were trying to help her. After all, she is homeless. And how do you know that she's homeless? That's a private piece of information. Krissa told me. No, I didn't. Krissa? Gwen told me that she confided in you and that she didn't tell anyone else. And neither did I. Honest, I promise. Jaden, what happened? I didn't see anything. No, I find that hard to believe. Sonali? Sonali? Tara started to cut Gwen's hair, and there was an accident. You know, it's very hard for someone in Gwen's circumstances to come to school every day. She's now been devastated. She's afraid to come back to school. It wasn't Krista who told Tara about Gwen being homeless. At least not on purpose. We overheard them talking in the music room. That's how Tara knew. An incident like this is never going to happen at this school again. Tara, I am going to suspend you three days. And while you're at home, I want you to think about what Gwen is feeling. How would you feel if the same thing happened to you? I will, Miss Zeminski. I understand this is not the first time that you three girls have ganged up on her. So Jaden and Sonali, you're suspended for a day. Will this go on my record? Sonali, I want to thank you. It's hard telling the truth. It's not always an easy thing to do. And Krissa, I'm glad that Gwen has a friend like you. Well, girls, let's call your parents. Tara? It must have been so hard on you, sweetie, watching those girls do that to your friends. I can't believe they would call Gwen homeless unless they really wanted to hurt her feelings. Well, they did want to hurt her feelings. Those girls are bullies. 
You know, when I was a girl, there was a saying, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can never hurt me. I've heard of that. Yeah, well, it's not true. Words can hurt. They can do a lot of damage. And once they're out there, you can't take them back. I know. Just write that down. You guys got that? The three branches of government? She's now been devastated. She's afraid to come back to school. Hello? Is Gwen Thompson there, please? Oh. She moved already? Well, do you think I can have her new number? Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks anyway. All right. Bye. I need to talk to you. Uh, I don't want to talk to you. When? Chris, it didn't tell. Let's go. Wait a second. When? Chris, it didn't tell Terry your secret. We heard you guys talking in the music room. That's how Tara knew. And Gwen, I'm really sorry about how mean I've been to you. You know, Tara's gonna be really mad. Yeah. You know what, Jaden? I don't care. been thinking about these girls all weekend. I don't know what we're gonna do. Well, it's becoming a problem. Terry's always been a little high strung, but she's always been a good student. What about Krissa? What is she like? She's quiet, finishes all the work. Krissa is a good kid. Okay, but we're gonna have to do something. You're right. You are right, and I have an idea. I'll see you at lunch, Gwen. Oh, right, bye. Bye. What is that thing on your head? <laughs> yeah, are you trying to look stupid? Take it off, or you're out of our club. I'm not taking it off. I like it. Whatever. Tara, Jaden, don't get too comfortable. Jaden, I'm moving you to cluster three. What? This isn't fair. Tara, you switch with Brock. But I can't see way back there. Well, we'll send a note home to your mom to get your vision checked. In the meantime, take a seat in cluster one. And Gwen, I'm moving you to cluster four. Just stop. 
stop it. Oh, we're shaking. Shaking. Yeah, we're so scared. We're shaking. We're so scared. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. My stomach hurts. Well, hello, ladies. Come on Hi. in. Um, She's in there. Oh, oh thanks. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah. Were there any signs hanging around today? No. Was that why you stayed home? I just couldn't stand going back there again. I'm really considering homeschooling. Krissa, I know how hard it can be to go to school some days, but if there's one thing I've learned, staying home means you lose and they win. I mean, you're gonna get behind in school, and then you'll have two problems, Tara and bad grades. Mm -hmm. Besides, we're stronger than they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Today we learned about diagramming sentences. Here. What okay. page is it? Uh, I think 21. No. I'm a little off, right? Oh, oh here, it here it is. Okay. Okay. Guys, teammates don't do this to one another. Now I'm gonna ask one last time. Who posted that message? Okay, from now on, nothing gets posted until I see it first. And since no one's willing to come forward, I have no choice but to punish all of you. So we're gonna knock off practice today half hour early and we are going to clean this facility until it shines. And if I ever, ever see anything like that again, I promise you I will cancel the rest of this season. Yes, Tara. Is it true? Is what true? About the skin disease. Because if it is, I can't be swimming in that water. You know what, Tara? You sit out today. Let's go, young lady. Let's get to work. Group one, diving. Group two, conditioning. Group three, kick practice. Let's go, move it. Come on. This. You do great at practice. And then a competition, you freeze up. What's up? You get nervous? Look, you just gotta pretend there's nobody else there. It's just you and the water. You gotta block everything else out. All right? Okay. Nice, Tyler. Keep it up. Thanks. Okay, guys. Conditioning. Get the kickboards out. All right, don't look so excited, Reamer. All right, nice. Good strong. Good on work. I can do that, Dad, Tyler. Yeah? It's not so hard. In fact, I want a medal for the summer camp. That's good for you, Tara. Of course, my dive's harder because I do a corkscrew twist. That doesn't sound that hard. I learned it from the moment. All about conditioning. He said I was a natural. Compliment to my form. Tara, get down. You're not supposed to be up here. What? Are you gonna go tattletale on me? Tara, leave him alone. No. Bet you can't do it, Tyler. Because it's too hard. My corkscrew has two twists. Tara, come on. Tara. You won't be able to do it, Tara. chicken. You're not going to be able to do it. Tara, get down. No. 
Do You're not going to be able to do it. Stop it. I can do it. You won't be able to do it, Shahira. I'm the only one that can do it. Tara, you won't do it. Come on, Tara. Yes. He's gonna be all right. You don't know that. This is all my fault. Oh, really? Did you push him off the board? No, but I didn't do anything. I mean, all I kept on thinking was, I gotta go get Mr. Peck. And I didn't. It all happened so fast. Honey, it's a really horrible thing that happened, but it is absolutely not your fault. Hey, hey, Tyler's gonna be okay. It isn't a concussion, but they're gonna keep him here overnight. Well, can I go see him? He's sleeping right now, sweetie. You know, I, I think you should, should go home. He'll be home tomorrow, okay? Come on. Come on, honey. It's gonna be okay. I was only fooling around. I didn't mean for anyone to get hurt. Save it, Tara. Neither one of you had any business being up on that ladder. Do you see why the rules are in place? And we just talked about horsing around, remember? Yes. I'm really upset. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what am I going to do with you two? I got to separate you in class, and I got to separate you in swimming, too? Tara, you're on towel duty for the rest of the season. Do I still get to swim? Yes. And after each and every meet and practice, you'll be responsible for all the wet and dirty towels. What about her? Krissa? It's okay. I decided I'm going to quit the team. Krissa, that isn't necessary. Now, Krissa, I know you're upset about your brother, but there have to be consequences when you break the rules. I'm not quitting just to get out of punishment. Okay, then why? Okay, Krissa, you're going to be cleaning up the classroom for the next two weeks. Scarf, silly. Oh, sweet. No way am I wearing this. Whoa, diggy. <laughs> Lemonade and cookies in the kitchen. I'm totally there. Do you want them? Sure, but wait. I heard you quit the swim team. Well, yeah, I had to. Why? Because you're out for the rest of the season. So I'm going to stay out too. Well, that's stupid. Tyler, I'm really, really sorry this happened to you. Me too. I'm never listening to Tara again. This is all my fault. Krista, it isn't about you. I should have never listened to her. No. No, if Tara didn't hate me so much, she would have never done this to you. I don't want to be around her anymore. So you're a quitter? I guess so. Tigers will be inspired to win after they see this poster. I hope so. Hmm. So, I hear you quit the swim team. Yeah, I decided I don't really like swimming. Really? And if Tyler can't swim... I don't think this has anything to do with Tyler. I do, however, think this has something to do with Tara. You know, I've always felt sorry for Tara. 
Why? Well, because when someone is determined to make other people feel bad about themselves, it's usually so they can feel good about themselves. How can making someone feel bad make you feel good? Because in order to feel like you're worth something, you need other people to feel less than their best. It sounds to me like that's what terror has done to you. She doesn't act like she feels bad about herself. Saying mean things, hurting other people, cutting you down. She must be very insecure. If you could wave a magic wand and change something, what would you do? You won't be able to do it, chicken. Tara, get down. I would take back Tyler's accident and make it so that no one's ever mean to anyone again. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? But it's not very realistic. I find that sometimes when kids have a big problem, they um, try to solve it themselves. But sometimes problems are too big and complicated for kids to solve on their own. They need help and they need to know that it's okay to ask for help. Well, Grown-ups say that. But what if it doesn't work? We're the ones who have to go to school with the mean kids who just get meaner. I see your point. But I think you'd be surprised at how turning to an adult you trust can help. Sometimes they can help in a way where it's not really obvious. Don't you have an adult you can turn to when you have a problem? My mom says I can tell her and my dad anything. That would be a very good place to start. Thanks. Don't spoil your appetite. Hmm. Oh, hey, Chris. Chicken fricassees on the menu. With paprika. Without. With. With. Mom. Go. Dad. Yeah. Moving out here has been really hard. Because you miss your friends? Not just because of that, but because of this. Oh, Chris. -a. Can I see that? Let me see. You know who did this? I'm betting it was Tara. Swing team Tara? Yeah. It's because of her that she quit the team. Chris, you quit the swim team? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. That Tara is bad news. I knew something was going on. It's just so hard. I've been trying to make it work. Oh, sweetheart. For how long? since the first day of school. So Gwen wasn't the only one being bullied? Oh, honey, I wish you'd come to us. I don't want to be called a tattletale. Tattling's different. It's kind of like getting even with someone. Speaking up is protecting yourself. I'm so sorry this has been going on. Believe me, it stops now. I'm gonna call the principal and Mr. Beck. We're gonna set up a meeting and tell him what's gone on. No, that's just gonna make it worse. <sighs> Sweetie, that's how bullies work. They depend on kids being too afraid to speak up. That's how the bullying keeps going. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure, Mom? I'm positive, baby. OK. Oh, hey. Are you still working on ideas for that big fourth grade social studies project? Yeah. Maybe there's something we can do about that. Okay, class, let's open our English books. Mr. Beck? To page 50. Mr. Beck? Yes, Chris. I have an idea for our fourth grade project. Well, I love your enthusiasm, but we're going to be talking about that next week. But I have an idea today. What? Did you have a llama bean omelet this morning? Tara. Okay, Chris, what is it? Let's do our project about school bullying. I think that's a great idea. How many of you have felt bullied? I want to do this because this happened to me. And 
I didn't know how to make it stop. And then I didn't even want to go to school. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we have a project. my idea. But you know what? Lots of kids have been bullied. Did Tara or Jaden do anything bad today? No. See, I knew you were going to have a good day. So tomorrow's the big swim meet, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it is. I decided I'm not going to go. Did I ever tell you how the kids were mean to me? You, Mom? Yep. I was getting the highest grades in the class, and the kids were calling me names like Egghead and Brainiac, Bookworm, Miss Square. So, to make it stop, I started failing instead of succeeding. And then I realized how stupid that was. Why? Sweetie, it's never smart to be less than who you are or to let anyone take anything away from you. Thanks, Mom. Jimmy! Wait up! Yeah. What's up? Hey! Oh, yeah, I'm up. Well, looks like our team is complete, guys. Welcome back, Lisa. Swimmers, and if we work together, our team could win. James Spencer wins the 50 meter freestyle for the Tigers and ties the score. Coming up, our last race of the day the girls' 200 meter medley relay. Okay, listen. Chris, are you going to swim first? Alexandra second? Rachel third? And Tara, are you going to anchor? Mr. Beck? Yeah. Chris, I should swim anchor. But I've never swam anchor before. Are you kidding me? 
You're the strongest swimmer. You're like a human fish at the club. But I don't know. Come how... on. Do you want this team to win or not? Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Tara. Come on. Come on, Tara. Come on, Tara. This year's fourth grade project and it will stand here at the school as a permanent reminder here to present our project is miss chrissa maxwell our project is on school bullying kids who have been bullied are afraid to speak out because the bullying might get worse they think there's nothing that they can do about it I know this from personal experience. But if they stop and speak up, things can get a lot better. Never keep bullying a secret, whether it's about you or a friend. This is a friendship arch, and everyone in the fourth grade shows a word. And in the middle, there's a word hello, because so my grandmother always told me, hello is the first word in a friendship. I love you, Nana. I choose the word courage, because it takes courage to stand up to a bully. 
and it takes courage to stop being a bully. Accept is my word, and I realize that it starts with me. No one is better or worse than anyone else. We all have the same problems. I chose the word forgive. Once you forgive, you can move forward. I chose the word strength, because no matter what's going on around you, it's important to be strong inside and to be true to yourself. I chose the word kind. I chose the word say hello. Say hello, it's the only word you need. Do you believe? forever. We're all the same inside. There's nothing to hide. Let's all play on the same side. Come on, let's be friends. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. It's the first word in a new friendship. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. It's the only word you need. 